Well, folks, welcome to our show this week. We're in the upstate of South Carolina, and I tell you what, you know, you've seen us do this sort of hunting before, and actually, if you watched last year's show, we were doing it uh, squirrel hunting, okay? But we were doing it a different way, and we were doing it with falcons. Well, today, I'm being joined by a good friend of mine, Bob Harkins. We worked together when I was uh, a youngster here working yeah. with the South Carolina yeah. Department of Natural Resources, and, and Bob is now retired. And he's got a couple of mountain cur. Well, I tell you what, I'll let him describe these two young dogs. But I tell you what, we're going to be doing some squirrel hunting here in the upstate of South Carolina. And Bob, I tell you what, you know, preface the hunt for me. Because, you know, it's deer season's over. We're right before. We're kind of in that dead period of the year, mm -hmm. which this is a great time to, to be doing what we're going to do today. It is a great time. The, the uh, cold weather is a good thing. We don't want it too cold. Squirrels stay in the nest when it's too cold. And we don't want it real windy. So today we've got a good day. It's not real bad cold. It's probably going to be high in the 40s today, uh, maybe even 50s. And uh, the wind's not blowing. Squirrels ought to be moving. So. Well, uh, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, before I get into the dogs and the mountain curs, because you know a lot of folks may or may not know what that breed is, and, and of course, if you're into squirrel hunting and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. you do. Yes. Uh, but we're going to be doing it with uh, 22s, okay? And a lot of right. folks do it with 410s. A lot of them do it with a shotgun. Tell us your methodology because you, you know, you've been doing this for a long time. Well, it's a lot different than uh, going out in the fall and slipping around or sitting under a tree. This, uh, with the dogs, you let the dogs do the work. They find the squirrel either by scent, sight, or hearing, mostly by scent. Uh, there's a lot of different <laughs> kinds of dogs out there. I just love mountain cur original mountain curs. Uh, but a lot of people use feist. There's lots of different kinds of curs as well, not just the original mountain, but they're black mouth cur, and there's a, even a Carolina cur, a man in the low country has developed himself. And they, uh, they, you know, they're all good dogs. I've seen great feist work real good, but these dogs I've got, I've just uh, kind of gotten attached to the breed, and I like them. Well, you know, and we're going to be using 22 rifles with scopes on them just right. to, for headshots, and so it's just a little right. rim fire. So we, what we want right. to do is preserve the rest of the meat. <laughs> That's right. If you haven't eaten squirrel, if you need to, it is just uh, you know they eat just all good things, nuts and berries and uh, mushrooms and all things like that and the, the meat uh, has a different flavor people say it tastes a little bit like chicken it's way better than chicken well it's we're going to have that today on our show and I, we'll do a little sampling plus got a special segment when we get done here hunting a little bit we get some squirrels bob's gonna well he's just really going to show us a special technique on how to prepare your squirrel so with that we're going to release let's release turn, the hounds let's turn them loose let's do it all man. right <laughs> That is catfishing from sand heat. Perfect Lake Hartwell hybrid. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at Chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. <laughs> Give her a minute. We she gotta, got one? She know. You know, that's what, when they do the competition, you don't, you don't, when you call three your dog, See, she's gonna come to that one. Really? When they say, when they say tree your dog, you, then you've committed your dog to the tree. Ah. And she doesn't know where he is. This Zip. Is... Zip. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> she smells it. You know, this is like coon hunting in the daytime. It is, it is. <laughs> And I don't like being out at night, so this no, is no, ideal. No, that's true. And look at here, folks, no waders. Oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> She's about to commit. You get about 50% of the squirrels because they're going to be either in a nest or in a hole right. about 50% of the time. Right. Zip's still not convinced. Let's see what she says. <laughs> when she opens up, I'll say we, he's up there.
All right, what we usually do, Bob, is, is you'll stand back and I'll go to the other side and you watch for a movement where okay. the squirrel's gonna be. I'm gonna say he's up there. All right. There's a lot of, that's a dead tree, so it might be holes up there. Zip doesn't believe it. <laughs> oh, right there. Where is he? Where is he, Hayes? He's leaving a tree, which is not a good sign. You know, folks, actually, this is a lot of fun. Especially when you ain't got nothing else to do and it's, it's winter time. I'm telling you, you can't turkey hunt yet. Deer hunting's over. Uh, hogs, nah. You can do that anytime. But this, yeah. Get on him, Zip. Get him, Zip. Get that squirrel. Get that squirrel. Not a girl. Not a girl. Zip, zip, zip. Get back on that tree. Get on that tree. come out of it. Uh-uh, he ain't come out. I thought I saw his back, you know, just a tiny piece of his back. That's what I shot at, but that wasn't his back. Oh, well, well, we'll, we'll find score. another one. Listen, we'll score that one as... <laughs> another know. one. Yeah, there you go. Just another one. All right, you got him. Come on, Hayes, Hayes, you got him, girl. Good dog. Good girl. At least I saw him. That was... That's it, yeah. He scooted back real quick. Listen, I, you know, you think about it. People think, okay, I see these things in my backyard all the time. It ought to be easy. Wrong. The, this, be... These squirrels have been hunted for 40 years. <laughs> exactly. That's why they're still out That's here. That's why they're here. <laughs> these, are not town, these are not town squirrels. Come on, Hayes. You got him. Come on, girl. You got him. You can see that hole from right here pretty well. Uh, yeah. It's can. right there on the, see on the right? Mm -hmm. I mean, plenty big. What it was, he just, he was laughing at us. <laughs> He came out of that hole just for a minute and I saw him scoot and I thought I didn't know from my angle I couldn't see the hole. You can see it good from right here. Mm -hmm, you can. Yep. All right, on to the next one. That we scored, that's uh, what? Uh, 0 and 2. 0 and 2. That's okay. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. Folks, it's time again for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, South Carolina's largest hunting, fishing, and outdoor expo, being held at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds in Columbia on March 25th through the 27th. In order to provide a safer classic experience, there'll be a contactless box office. Be sure to go to psclassic.com and get your tickets today. We'll be looking to see you and the whole family at the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 25th through the 27th, at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Step into the new with a new Chevy. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles or current competitive owners get $2,000 total value on this Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia. By Upcountry South Carolina, Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, 
offering the best quail hunting in the southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Pigs, let's kill all the pigs we can. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there's, there's pigs here somewhere. Hold on. Get back, Zip. Watch it. Zip, Careful. Hayes, Hayes, Careful. Hayes. Uh-uh, Hayes. Hang on a minute. Yeah, that's, yeah, we got to be careful here. Hang on. Zip! Hey, quit that! Get back! Get back! <laughs> yeah, he Leave just him alone. stuck the barrel right on his head. Hey, quit that! Ah, get back! Get Zip, back! Zip. Quit that! Hey! That get him. That got him. I knew when she went back in there barking. Hey! No! Quit that! Zip! No! Zip! Quit that! You can smell that stinking boar. That's a boar, isn't nah, it? Nah! Nah! Hey, quit that! Yeah, I figured that. Why right. why he laid back, stayed in there. That's, that's got him. Come on, Hayes. Let's go. Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Nah! Leave it alone. Come on, Hayes. Get! Zip! Come on, here. Let's go. There's that big black one. I saw him running around again. Oh, my. You know, folks, we're still doing some good out here. <laughs> Seeing some squirrels, but trying to eradicate these wild hogs, I'm telling you, they have taken over a lot of the territory in the southeast, and so this is a good thing. Although, when you got squirrel dogs, you got to be careful with these things because they'll absolutely cut them to pieces. So today, that's okay. Uh, even if we don't get a squirrel, it's been great being in the outdoors, I can tell you. So with that, put it back on safe. Bingo. Hmm. Get him, Zip. Get him, girl. Get him. Get him, Hayes. Get him. You see him on that side, Bob? I don't see him. I don't either. He's I know in he's there, though. There. He's up there. He didn't leave it. Hold still. He's on the other side again. That dead gun squirrel. There he is, okay. Get him zip. Going to a hole. Woo! <laughs> Finally. We got him. We got him. <laughs> Bring him on, Zip. He fell in that fork. Yeah, he was fixing to find you him. You fired hole. first and I had zip, to zip, I followed up. Zip, zip, zip. Hey, hey, quit that. Leave that squirrel alone. Hey, 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 hey. Uh-uh, Zip, what are you doing? Wait a minute, I got something to fix that. <laughs> what are you doing, Zip? Come here, come here, I'm gonna let you look, look at it. Come here, hold on, ho, 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 ho. There you go, there you go. That a girl, that a girl. All right, there you go. Hey, That's man. a young squirrel. Yeah, it is. Had one, one in the eye. Yeah, okay. One, one wasn't in there. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, here, I'll hold That's your okay. rifle. <laughs> this, this is a necessity when you squirrel hunt. I got to have a bread sack. Bread sacks. Always okay. keep your bread sacks handy. All there right. There we go. Finally. There that we one. go. Fine. I think, All right. Man, from one tree to the other, yeah. I, I didn't think we was ever going to get a chance yeah. to get to that one. Okay, I'll, so... Squirrel hunting, we've got one hog. One hog. All right, and one squirrel. So. One squirrel and several trees that we couldn't, well, I couldn't mean, get you know, a shot on. And, and listen, it, I just love being out here. 
What else would we be doing? Nothing here, man. Nothing get fun. Twig out of here. Nothing fun. Yeah, I know. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right. <laughs> well, I know there's still one in that tree right there where they initially treed, but I'm not going to worry about that. Well, look, I want to say, though, um, okay, I got a little anxious on that second shot, <laughs> but that's okay. You forgive me. I'll forgive you okay. until, until we dress him and he comes half and two, and we, we'll talk about it then. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 district is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Folks, it's time again for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, South Carolina's largest hunting, fishing, and outdoor expo being held at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds in Columbia on March 25th through the 27th. In order to provide a safer classic experience, there'll be a contactless box office. Be sure to go to psclassic.com and get your tickets today. We'll be looking to see you and the whole family at the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 25th through the 27th at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven fish bite and will not let go. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's Sportsman's Table, folks. Joining me is Sally Porth with Sally's Greatest from Cameron, South Carolina. We're here at the Phillips Market at the beautiful South Carolina Farmer's Market here in Columbia, South Carolina. She's got a recipe. I tell you what, if you're tailgaters or whatever, Sally, this is great stuff, okay? It is. Tell us about a mocktail, okay, because it's a first for me. Well, basically, a mocktail is like a little fancy drink without any spirit in it. Ah. So, for when you're especially tailgating, traveling, you don't need to be doing all that drinking and driving. This is a perfect way to have a little celebration and make it taste delicious and also fun and festive. But if I want to put a little Forrester and Lord Calvert in yes, there, I can do that. You can have at it. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do that with the peach mint. Oh, so. good. Well, let's get started. <laughs> right? This is awesome. Well, I'm going to make Sally Spritzers today. Okay. And I chose the blueberry lavender and the peach mint. Okay. Um, I, you can have, we've got a blackberry yeah, spice sage I, and a strawberry basil. I see these. But yeah. the, for these bourbon lovers, this peach mint is quite delicious. And this product is made with South Carolina fresh peaches. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. so basically, I feel you got to have a full glass of ice when you're making cocktails. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is an ounce. Taking an ounce of the peach mint simple syrup. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and do my blueberry lavender over here. Oh, yeah. Now, when I do the blueberry lavender, I love the white spirits, the gin or vodka. You could turn yeah. this into a nice little um, oh, Tom yeah. Collins I or mojito with some rum. Yeah. Now, this is lime juice. So you put, that's an ounce of the syrup. You put about a half an ounce of lemon or lime juice. Oh, really? Just the, to give it that little kick. The citrus kind yep, of flavor? Yep, citrus. Mm -hmm. oh, well, it just wow. gives it a little kick. Yeah. And then... Um, some sparkling water. There you go. And folks, you want a copy of Sally's recipe, just log on to bobredfern.com, go to the sportsman's table. Look at that, a mocktail. Yes, a mocktail. And let me show you, because you got to make it look good. Yeah. We're going to put some lemon and some lime in both of them. And then we're going to decorate it. Oh, I love neat. 
This is some fresh lavender. And then got to have a little bit of mint. Ah, the lady's touch. Yes. Ah, there you go. Yes. And some bourbon in the peach mint. We can do a mint julep. That doesn't, who wouldn't want to have that for a nice Those little... Those are neat. I tell you, <laughs> a mocktail right yes, there. Yes, that is a mocktail. Wow. And with <laughs> Sally's greatest. That's right. Well, Sally, thank you so much for coming in today. And it's great to have you back on the Sportsman's Table. Thank right? you so much for having me. I so enjoy being with you. Oh, you bet. <laughs> and folks, listen. Remember, as always, it's a matter of taste. Log on to CertifiedSC.com and check out what's fresh on the menu. We'll see you right back here again next week on another recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Step into the new with a new Chevy. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles or current competitive owners get $2,000 total value on this Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Chevrolet, find new roads with Chevrolet. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District. And by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. Well, folks, look, we had a great hunt here with Bob this morning, and I tell you what, we're going to show you something probably you haven't seen before, but before we go in and we have lunch, and that's what we're having today, we're having cornbread and squirrel soup, okay? But we thought it might be just a great segment if we'd ask Bob to go ahead and clean one of these squirrels, okay? Because, again, it's not about the blood and guts. If you love to go squirrel hunting and you eat what you, what you, you know, pick up in the woods, this is probably a good segment, Bob. Okay, well... This is the way that I've done it since I was a little boy, and uh, it, it saves a whole lot of time. And I, okay, now this is a young squirrel. This is a little younger squirrel, which makes it easier. He's head shot, which we prefer, and uh, pull him up right there. You see the vent right there? You go right above it. Okay. Okay, you cut through that part, but then you also cut through a little harder cut to the bone, and then you skin out the side, each a little bit on each side, like that and he's ready to roll. Okay, you gotta have a hard bottom boot on. Okay. Okay, and you <laughs> lay him down right there, and put your boot right there. Yep. Pull up like that, zip him up there. And zip, away you go. Zip him right here, pull him out, out. Pop him right there, right there, right here. Hmm. Need a sharp knife, by the way. <laughs> okay, pop that off, put that down. Cut that off, put 
this out. The male. Take that out. Pull them out right here. Cut through there. Now, when when you freeze these, you, you put the whole squirrel in there? Sometimes I quarter them. We can quarter this one and I freeze them in water always. Okay. I got you. And plastic uh, Ziplocs in water. Right. Okay, pull them out right there. Get the top. Well, as I said earlier in the show, I don't believe I remember having squirrel. I may have been eight or nine when the last time I had squirrel. <laughs> mm. Right down here like that. And you say you'll have up to 100 of these in the freezer? I usually try to get 100 in the freezer. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and eat them all the way, I'm, so I'm getting more than 100, but that's how many I want in the freezer. Some yeah. of the people I, I hunt with also love squirrel and want to take them home with them. Yeah. And I always give them that opportunity. You know. Now, do you like them better in a, in a stew or a soup, or how, how do you fix them? Uh, I have a new one I just started. It's called Sauvignon Squirrel. Sauvignon, Sauvignon Squirrel. squirrel. Okay. I, and it is really, Got really good. Got a little good. wine, Sauvignon it's wine. A, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yes. In the end, you have to, <laughs> old tough squirrel, you have to, uh, you have to cook him till he's tender. That, if, if you try to cook a squirrel without making him, getting him tender, nobody will like yeah. it. Well, I'm sorry about that side shot there. <laughs> well, that's all right. We, we still, it didn't do any major damage. He was trying to escape and evade, and I wouldn't want to <laughs> you, get away. <laughs> we, we took care of that. But, uh. But anyway, I, I usually, a lot of people don't like the, the uh, rib, you know, yeah. the rib, little ribs are tiny, and I can cut those out for a lot of people that don't mm -hmm. want them. That's ready, that's ready, and that's actually a young enough squirrel, Mike could fry him yeah. just without parboil, and, and I do squirrels and gravy. Uh, one of my favorite, one of my son's favorite is squirrels and gravy where you fry them just like they're tender, but they're not. You can't eat them right away, and you put them in a pot of, uh, like a, closed top iron pot yeah, with yeah. gravy and until the gravy covers them and cook them for about an hour. Really? Until they're about to fall off the bone with that good gravy. <laughs> it's hard to beat. And then the Brunswick <laughs> stew that it uh, probably everybody's favorite. Oh yeah. It's it so is. good. You're it's absolutely so good. right. But we're ready to recycle this into the place where I like to recycle it. Well I, I will tell you I have I have gone around the world two or three times. But it's been a while since I've gotten instruction on how to, on how a to do a squirrel. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's, a, it's been a pleasure, my friend. I, right. I honestly, it's always a pleasure because, you know, I've known you for so many years and, and it's just so great to get together with you. And, you know, again, as I said earlier, working with you back in the day when I worked yep. at, at South Carolina DNR was just a pleasure. You were always on top of your game, and even at 70, you're even still there. Matter of fact, I, I'm telling you, there must be something in the water that's upstate here because my hair is grayer than yours. But listen, I, I don't worry as much. I yeah, live in the country. Go. I'm a country boy. Uh, well, I tell you what. Well, folks, listen, we're fixing to head on in because Bob's got us some cornbread and some squirrel stew and soup, and we're going to go partake of lunch here today. But I will tell you, to be honest with you, if you hadn't had a chance to get out under under the conditions we've had today, okay, squirrels, uh, even got a hog. It's just a great opportunity to do that. And I got to thank my guest, Bob Harkins. And, and, and you know, again, we're going to try and, and stay in contact with him because, again, there's not much he doesn't do. But as we always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine.